What would you do if you only had 24 hours to live? This is the question that Homer is facing in One Fish, Two Fish, Blowfish, Blue Fish, which is the 11th episode of the second season of The Simpsons, directed by Wesley Archer and airing originally in January of 1991. And the Simpsons go to a new sushi, sushi restaurant and Homer accidentally eats a poisoned blowfish. Well, he intentionally eats it. He doesn't realise and realise it's poisonous. And he is diagnosed with only 24 hours to live. And he makes this list of all of the things he wants to achieve in those 24 hours and all of these ambitions that he wants to succeed with over that time frame. Needless to say, this is The Simpsons. Things don't necessarily go to plan. It's actually quite a heartfelt episode. There are some really emotional moments, particularly with Marge, as she thinks about her husband having a very short space of time to live. And she does dote on him and basically wait on him hand and foot, which I, I guess you would if a loved one didn't have very long to live. You would just worship them for that length of time, I guess. And so it's kind of interesting to see how she responds to this. Bart and Lisa don't know the truth. But they do seem to behave anyway, almost as if they were aware that something's going on. But the main focus, of course, is Homer and how he reacts. And I think it's a shame that certain things get in his way of filling certain ambitions. But I do think that the list of things he wanted to achieve are pretty great and sometimes even selfless. And I'm quite surprised that Homer's list wasn't full of all kinds of fantastical things. It was actually a very touching episode and very moving and I have to say I'm really glad that they gave Homer 24 hours to live because of a blowfish which yes there will be people out there who have eaten poisonous fish and have unfortunately succumbed to that but had they given him a, me a specific medical diagnosis that was resulting in 24 hours to live I think it might have been too raw for some people and would have been too emotional eating a poisonous fish and dying is significantly less likely to happen. So they made it relatable in some ways that it would be emotional, but also creating some distance by giving the reason behind the relatability to be a little bit less likely to happen. And I think they made a very wise decision with that. I really enjoyed it. It still is funny. It is a funny episode, of course, but I find that it's a lot more sentimental. Now, this isn't the end of The Simpsons, so you can kind of work out what happens. But it's really sweet and really moving, and it's one of the few episodes where the family are actually working together as a unit, and Homer isn't getting annoyed at everything. <laughs> There's a very funny moment where Homer calls Bart over, and Bart just instantly drops his trousers for a spanking, which was actually kind of like a really sweet moment. Very un weirdly weirdly sweet you kind of have to see it to feel it but I really enjoyed this episode it's not my favorite because I do think that it's a little bit more emotional than a lot of the other episodes which is a good thing you need to kind of have that element in there to break up some of the more ludicrously funny episodes but even the situation surrounding the blowfish the, the events leading up to it it is very funny uh, a little bit stereotypical in parts but um, it's handled very well and I found it to be quite entertaining and quite delightful and certainly emotion and emotional and uh, thought-provoking. We also have Larry King as the voice of Larry King which is uh, a nice little extra in there as well. It's a really thoroughly enjoyable episode and I have to say it may not be the most realistic, it may not be the funniest, but it's certainly one that I like watching. <laughs>